Ooh, what's up guys, and of course, welcome to another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle with George Truly of yours, the Dusk, Garander, and today we're going against Scruffy Scrafty, and he's an upcoming Poketuber, so I'm going to link his channel down below, make sure to check this guy out, like I said, he's an upcoming Poketuber, so he has good quality, and has a good game idea, and like the previous people I've mentioned, are worth checking out, to say the least, and we had a new battle, and uh, yeah, basically this was just when the tier changed, you know, that Rizion and Hillways was coming in, and Clydul, of course. So I decided to use him. And, um, yeah, he's bringing a hardcore team, but hell, me trying out these pokes is gonna be a formidable challenge for him, because they are quite powerful, of course. And also, a huge shout-out to Marlene, uh, who helped me record this battle. As you guys know, my capture card is on its way back, but until then, I'm getting helped, and uh, I'll also get a webcam uploads. Hopefully, it's back before his week ends. One could only hope. I do hope he's back very soon. So when I look at my opponent team here, we got Magmortar. You guys know this from Shade of Penguin Battles. Magmortar is my number one enemy. And we've got Lilligant, Ralligator, Mantine, Steelix, and Gramble. I'm still using Polarat, like I said, Clay Duel, Virgion Hillisk, Rhydon as a Stealth Rock setter, and Articuno. And Articuno is a great response for free of his Pokemon. It can actually deal with Lilligant, it can deal with Ralligator, and it can one-shot the Mantine. But um, besides that, there is really nothing on my team that stands out when it comes to overall power. I need to watch out for Steelix. And Gramble can be quite a hassle since I don't have any super effective moves to kind of hit it head-on. Uh, at the start there, I'm expecting either Steelix or uh, Lilligant as a starter, so I'm just going to go with Polyrath and hoping I can find myself a footing. So, of course, with all of this in mind, guys, let's go. So, for the fifth time in a row, in a, in a Wi-Fi battle, I'm going to start off the worst kind of way. So, well, starting with Polyrath, like I said there, he's going to start with Gramble, so now he can do super effective damage on me. So I am obviously forced yet again to switch out in an upload but to get to go. This is just like very very bad really. So I'm gonna go to ride on and get kinda of tank the physical presence of a Gramble uh, with Evil Light and whatnot, but I'm very very lucky here and it gets a miss during his player up. You know, that really sucks to be honest. You know, 95% still missing. That really sucks. Same way Earthquake is not doing much here, and I really thought I was gonna force him out. So in just for Stealth Rocks, he's gonna keep going at it. His play rough does a roughly the same amount of damage as the Earthquake did. I guess a little less. And my Earthquake is a 2 hit KO, but with leftovers, he's gonna be recovering back on. And I was thinking, yeah, alright, he's definitely gonna switch out to something that can kinda tank uh, an Earthquake. So I just went for a Rock Blast instead this time. And how about that? Steelix. Perfect. Awesome. Best counter moves. You just like, kept going at it. I really didn't think that he would, you know, I mean, an Earthquake against a Steelix would do actually a lot of damage. So very risky and bold to my opponent. Then obviously here I have to switch out, which is great, of course. Perfect. So I go into Burra Tool, which is a Clay Duel. Uh, it's a rap Rapid Spin set. I haven't really utilized it that much. I know, the only thing I know that this Pokemon has is like Earth Power. Uh, like I said, never really tried it out. Or, or rather, it is Assault Vested, that's right. Assault Vest with Ice Beam, Earth Power, I think one more move, and Rapid Spin, which is obviously why I go for it, because I don't want the rocks up. And the, the reason I use Claydol is because Rapid Spin is quite important when you have an Articuno in your team. And look at that, that Heavy Slam did a bit too much. A bit too much. Like, that is just terrifying. So my opponent will go for Stealth Rocks, you know, that's fine. I am forced yet again to go for Rapid Spin, that's the case. But I think I went for Earth Power because I was in the range of actually taking it out. And he's gonna go into Mantine, and I was like, ah, oh, damn it. Walked right into that one. And, um, basically I'm just gonna fodder my poor guy out here. I'm gonna expect him to go for a Scald. And, really, like I said before, Rapid Spin is quite important here. This is, like, my main priority. But he has to go for an Air Slash, and I tanked it like a beast, because like I said, Assault Fist. That is actually really fine. And I do expect him here to go for another, or this time I actually expect him to at least go for Stab Move. So I'm just gonna go to my Articuno, who can actually wall this guy out, and force him out of course, but he'll actually go for Toxic. How about that? How about that? You know, I, I have to cope with that. Uh, excellent move on my opponent, definitely expecting me to switch out and do him. 
Articuno, while it can live with the Toxic, it can't really save for too long. So like I said there, I do expect him to switch out there. I'm just gonna go for a Freeze Fry anyway. Freeze Fry is my strongest move because they're just stab and whatnot. But he's going to Steelix. And well, I'm just gonna go at it. There is no reason for me to actually switch out or anything like that because this Freeze Fry will be so close it's able to maybe kill him. But I get to Freeze here and you know, that is great. So I'm feeling comfortable here that I can, you know, even if I don't take it out, that at least I can go for another move, so I'm not worried whatsoever, so I'm just gonna keep going at it. And this freeze try is close, but it doesn't take him out, but it's, like I said, it's pretty darn close, but hey, he wakes up! And oh no, it's going for heaven's step. oh no, no! Articuno, no! <laughs> and this, this is like the thing. My Articuno was my main response to his Mantine and for Alligator. And do yeah, shit. Um, but that's obviously it was a good thing that Articuno considered it walled his team quite good to be honest. So it's kind of a good thing that it went down. So anyway, his Steelix obviously not long for this battle. I'm just gonna go for Hyper Voice. Just in case it's I switch out to be honest. And I don't wanna go for a surf because it could switch out to his man uh, his Mantine and Warp so that and I don't want that. And the way he goes with the Magmortar tells me that it is Scarfed, because it's quite bolted to do so. And um, I won't fall for that, I try I've already done that once. So I'm going to Battle Tool, actually for second it, and actually went for a Focus Blast, and... Um, yeah, that is actually quite impressive. Clay Duel coming through here, definitely is not here to die. It's, it's really cool seeing this Pokemon pulling through. And he's going to his little again, which is actually quite good. Um, I couldn't do any like super effective damage, so I decided to do a full a double switch here. Expecting me, of course, switch out. So I go into Saladin, and um, basically I went for a Volt switch here because I was hoping for him to switch out, and uh, it does a fair amount of damage. I won't lie about that. It actually is somewhat fair. So I go, gonna go with my Virusion, and uh, at this range, I can just tank him out. He's gonna go for a Quiver Dance. Like I said, that's actually kind of fine. And I think that was the reason I went for a Volt Switch too, because he could outspeed me and take me out, and I really need my kill list later here. So we're gonna go for an Energy Ball, and I take that like a boss. Ish. Not really, but uh, I'm gonna go for the Sacred Sword just to do some damage. It is close to take him out, but he will definitely get another shot at attack me before going down. So knowing that, I'm just gonna go for... Um, a uh, beautiful yet marvelous call mine and letting the life orb take him out and uh, yeah that was the right call Vrishion is actually quite powerful like I said before Vrishion is it is a bit too strong maybe for NU or I'm really feeling that he got an obvious weakness but it isn't really hindering it that much considering that there isn't too many flying types in NU who has a big presence so he's gonna go to Granbull, and I mean, I was fine with this, I was actually expecting Mantine, so I know a Giga Drain can definitely take him out, but I don't think he knows that, and uh, basically, I'm just nomming this guy up. Yeah, nom nom. So definitely, this was definitely a misplay of my opponent, but I do know what he's going at, you know, going for a Thunder Wave and whatnot, so it's not a bad move. Um, <laughs> I just, I don't think he expected it to, to be so strong in the special side. So he's going to Mantide this time, and um, yeah, I do expect the Air Slash, I'm just going to go for Hidden Power Rock. And of course, Mantime being the beast among beasts when it comes to special defensive power, he can tank that out, and uh, the Air Slash is not enough to kill me. Um, so I was thinking here that my Giga Range should take it out. I know a Hidden Power Rock will take it out, but I want to get some recovery damage before doing something else here. And uh, yeah, might have been a misprediction on my side because it do live like without any real hassle, and I'm basically killing my own version by doing that. So um, kudos my opponent. <laughs> of course, that was really terrible. But hey, <laughs> at least that means that my Saladin, the oh so great and powerful Hillis is gonna come in, and I'm just gonna go for Volt Switch. He only got two pokes left, uh, or three pokes left. He got the Mantine. Um, who's obviously gonna go down, and then I got the Mag Mortar and the Feraligator. So I was thinking that I could go into my Rhydon and uh, pretty much fish him out. What I mean fishing is that I was basically going for Dragon Tail and I was really hoping that 
he was gonna bring in his Feraligate and try to set up against me because I knew that was probably the only way I could win a matchup was if he felt confident to uh, go for Dragon Dance, which is of course what it does. And uh, like I said, I went for Dragon Tail, so sometimes this fish just kind of pays off. I, it could have ended in my disfavor, but at this time I really, really got him. And um, like I said, had had Articuno, it might have been quite differently in how to play, but I really needed to force his hand out. And uh, well, obviously, hit packs to hit him power ice. And that is enough to take out Rhydon, without a doubt. And uh, the last Pokemon on my team is the um, oh so powerful and evil. You know him. Everybody knows this Pokemon. It is the Zolodon. And uh, <laughs> yeah, he's just gonna go for him power grass and it won't or ice, and it won't do that much damage, of course. And the Hyper Voice will annihilate this Magmoda. And his last Pokemon is the Feraligatr, and he can't go for an Aqua Jet because I have Priskin, of course. And it won't be able to outspeed because I am a hill disk after all. So this Hyper Voice will destroy what is left of this for Alligator. And that is GG. So yeah guys, I definitely brought a lot of power to this battle. And it was very uncommon me to be honest. And I got on top with a bit of luck actually because of the hacks and whatnot. And I'm very glad that the hacks did not matter that much for my opponent. Because they're the freeze and whatnot against the Celix. So definitely GG Scruffy Scrafty, definitely. So yeah guys, I really hope you liked this battle of course. Like I said, uh, a lot of hacks went my way and also a lot of hacks went my opponent's way. Um, and of course, like I said, there that heavy slam against my Articuno and my Articuno going down so early in the match was actually quite important for the game because Articuno could have walled out a lot of his pokes. So it definitely made the game more, much more interesting. Uh, and I had a lot of fun, and of course, the um, core I was using there with Clay Duel, Hilalisk, and Brission is quite mean. It's, it's just definitely like a genuine dangerous level of meanness, so I, I just tried it out. Obviously, it was on that Monday it was released, and uh, yeah, I won a lot of games with that team. Uh, so I decided, of course, to stop using it because it's, it's really not my way, and uh, I came pretty close to losing here because my opponent was actually quite good, and like I said, a few hacks in his favor definitely helped him out to actually even the odds for the strength that I was bringing. So Straps Crafted definitely GG like I said there man and for you people that are have watched this battle make sure to check his channel down below here. Uh, like I said he's an upcoming PocketTuber and it's always fun to follow those people because you're gonna see the revolution, you're gonna do a lot of good things and I hope to see this guy around for a long time. So with all this my guys of course remember to leave a like and if you're new to the channel don't forget to subscribe and remember Sky is the limit and he's back! Bye guys. <laughs>